I just the second time filming this because the first time I filmed it, I ended up uh, I ended up deleting it. So anyway, hopefully this one works. So I have another uh, two-step algebraic equation with a fractional coefficient and a constant of three eighths and an equivalent value of three quarters. So there's two ways you can solve it. The first method's the easy one. We're going to apply opposite operation by subtracting three eighths from this side to create an opposite pair. But I have to subtract three eighths over here as well. My common denominator will be eight. Six eighths take away three eighths is going to be just three eighths. Once I get it down to there, I multiply this side by two and multiply this side by two to get x equals six eighths, which in lowest terms is three quarters. Now that method everybody in this room should be able to do because there is no difference between this question and something like this if we had x minus three equals four. That's a grade seven question there. The only difference is instead of having a constant of a whole number, we have a constant of a fraction instead of having a, it's, but the process is the same. The operational sense is the same. It's just, can you add and subtract fractions? The second question, however, you could solve it by thinking about this idea. If I multiply this side by eight and this side by eight, I should maintain equality. And if I maintain equality, I'll be able to figure out the value of X. The first multiple two, four and eight share, those are the denominators of all of my terms all of my fractions in my entire equation. If I think about what's the first common multiple they share, the answer is eight. Eight is the first one they share. And therefore, if I multiply this side by eight and multiply this side by eight, I understand that I maintain equality. But the interesting thing here is this side was a binomial. So because it's a binomial, I need to apply distributive property to multiply both sides by eight, all terms by eight. And I'm gonna rewrite it as eight multiplied by x over two, eight multiplied by three over eight, and eight multiplied by three quarters. So all of those terms are gonna be multiplied by eight. I'm gonna cross reduce. Eight over two is four over one, meaning that's gonna be four x. Eight over eight reduced to one over one, which is gonna make that a positive three. And 8 over 4 reduces to 2 over 1, making that a 6. So when I multiply both sides by 8, I end up with 4x plus 3 equals 6, which is much easier, Andrew, to solve. I subtract 3 from both sides. 4x equals 3. Divide both sides by 4. And x equals 3 quarters. The exact same answer I got over here, except I didn't have to go very far with it. I just had to realize that multiplying both sides by 8 gave me an equation that didn't have fractions. And since I don't really like working with fractions a lot, it made my life a lot easier.